air shield, soap adhering air and vapor barrier, and flashing membrane is part of a total WR Meadows system to protect the building enclosure. This roll type product meets or exceeds air leakage tests per ASTME 2178 01 and ASTME 2357 and is 40 mils thick. The membrane's controlled thickness is fabricated from cross laminated polyethylene bonded to specially modified asphalt. This unique self-adhesive membrane protected by a special release paper is strong and durable. It remains flexible when surface mounted and will adhere to most prime surfaces at a minimum temperature of 40 degrees Fahrenheit, 4 degrees Celsius. For applications at lower temperatures, consider the use of AirShield LT or XLT. The membrane provides excellent protection as a tough barrier that won't shrink, sag, dry out, crack, or rot. It offers excellent resistance to punctures during installation. The self-healing characteristics of AirShield facilitate recovery if minimal damage is sustained under normal use applications, like penetrating it with self-tapping screws or nails. Primary applications include cavity and masonry wall construction. AirShield works equally well as an air and or vapor barrier on precast concrete, cast in place concrete, concrete block masonry, interior and exterior gypsum board, styrofoam, prime steel, aluminum mill finish, anodized aluminum, primed galvanized metal, drywall, and plywood. AirShield may also be used as a through wall flashing and for window and door flashing applications. Before applying AirShield, prepare the substrate according to manufacturer's instructions. All surfaces to which AirShield is to be applied must be addressed with WR Meadows Melprime or Melprime WB Adhesive. Melprime may be applied to an area that is to be covered the same day. Uncovered areas must be readdressed the next day. All surfaces to be protected with AirShield must be clean of oil, dust, and excess mortar. They must also be dry, frost-free, and smooth, without large voids, spalled areas, or sharp protrusions. Concrete must be cured a minimum of 14 days and must be dry before AirShield is applied. Where curing compounds are used, they must be clear resin-based and without oil, wax, or pigments. AirShield can be applied at a minimum temperature of 40 degrees Fahrenheit, 4 degrees Celsius. AirShield Low Temp is a version of AirShield designed for cold weather conditions and can be used in temperatures as low as 20 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 7 degrees Celsius. AirShield XLT can be applied in extra low temperatures as low as 0 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 18 degrees Celsius. Apply membrane to the previously primed surface by removing the release paper and rolling the membrane firmly into place. Remove the release paper only as the membrane is being applied. Be sure that the membrane is fully adhered and remove all wrinkles and or fish mouths. Cut the air shield membrane with a utility knife to detail around protrusions and masonry reinforcing. Seal all end laps and protrusions with WR Meadows pointing mastic. Overlap subsequent courses of membrane a minimum of two inches. Vertical terminations of air shield should either be tied into the wall system or mechanically fastened with WR Meadows termination bar. Air shield is not designed for permanent exposure, so apply insulation as soon as possible to protect the air barrier. When used as a flexible wall flashing, air shield should be recessed one half inch from the face of the masonry. Flashing should not be permanently exposed to sunlight. 
Do not allow the rubberized asphalt surface of the flashing membrane to come in contact with sealants containing solvents, creosote, uncured coal tar products, EPDM, or PVC components. Complete application directions, drying information, and precautions are on the container.